there's one toy that we play with the most, it's the good old ball. Tennis balls, basketballs, volleyballs, cricket balls, these are all examples of what is probably the most popular three-dimensional figure, the sphere. In math, a sphere is defined as a round, solid figure with every point on its surface equidistant from its center. The distance from the center of the sphere to its outer surface is called its radius. Point O is the center of the sphere, while line OA, OB, OC are its radii and are each equal in length. Sometimes we are required to find the surface area or volume of objects around us that are spheres. How can we do that? First, let's understand the difference between an object's surface area and its volume. Imagine for a moment that this ball has a thin layer of skin that covers it. If we were to remove this skin and spread it out, the area of this skin would be the surface area of the ball. Since surface area is a two-dimensional measure of covered area, its units are always square units, for example, square centimeters, square meters, or even square feet. If we wanted to find out the amount of space that this ball takes up, we would calculate its volume. Since volume is a three-dimensional measure of space occupied, its units are always cubic units, for example, cubic centimeters, cubic meters, or cubic feet. Sara has a basketball right here. She wants to find out two things about it. How much wrapping paper would she need to cover this ball exactly? To answer her first question, she needs to find the surface area or outer layering of the ball only. She also wants to know how much air this ball holds. To answer her second question, she needs to find out the volume or the amount of space occupied by the ball. All that Sara knows about this basketball or sphere is that it has a radius of 21 centimeters. She also knows that the fractional value of pi is 22 over 7. So, how do we calculate the surface area and volume for this sphere? Simply by using these formulas. The surface area of a sphere is equal to 4 times pi times the square of its radius, or simply 4 pi r squared. The radius of this sphere is 21 centimeters and the fractional value of pi is 22 divided by 7. By substituting these values in the formula, we get surface area is equal to 4 times 22 divided by 7 times 21 squared. 21 squared can be written like this and can then be cancelled by 7. We are left with 4 times 22 times 3 times 21, which is equal to 5,544 square centimeters. Hence, Sara needs 5,544 square centimeters of wrapping paper to cover the basketball. That was quick. Now let's take a look at the volume. The volume of a sphere is equal to 4 divided by 3 times pi times r cubed, or simply 4 by 3 pi r cubed. Substituting the values of r and pi in the formula, we get volume is equal to 4 divided by 3 times 22 divided by 7 times 21 cubed. 21 cubed can be written like this and can then be cancelled by 7 and also by 3. We are left with 4 times 22 times 3 times 7 times 21, which is equal to 38,808 cubic centimeters. Hence, the amount of air inside this ball, or the amount of space it occupies, is 38,808 cubic centimeters. Notice the difference in the units for surface area and volume. Surface area uses square units, while volume uses cubic units. Time for an exercise. Can you find the volume of a sphere if its surface area is known? This sphere has a surface area of 2,464 square centimeters. 
We know that the surface area of a sphere is equal to 4 pi r squared. Hence, we can use this information to construct an equation to find the value of the radius r. 4 pi r squared is equal to 2464 square centimeters. We begin by replacing pi with its fractional value 22 over 7. To isolate r, take 4 to the other side and it will divide 2464. Pi shifts to the other side as 7 divided by 22. After simplification, we can see that the square of r is equal to 296. Take the square root of both sides and we have the value of the radius r, which is equal to 14 centimeters. Now that we know the value of the radius, let's use this value to find the volume of this sphere. Volume is denoted by the formula 4 divided by 3 times pi times r cubed. Substituting the values of pi and r, we get 4 divided by 3 times 22 over 7 times 14 cubed. 14 cubed can also be written like this and cancels with 7. We are left with 4 over 3 times 22 times 2 times 14 times 14. Hence, after simplification, we can see that the volume of this sphere is equal to 11,498.66 cubic centimeters. Simple, wasn't it? Let's summarize. A sphere is a round, solid figure with every point on its surface equidistant from its center. The distance from the center to the outermost surface is known as the radius of the sphere. To find the surface area of a sphere, we use the formula 4 pi r squared. To find the volume of a sphere, we use the formula 4 by 3 times pi r cubed.